Hi! Sorry for the five minutes of silence. Uh, our, our, our Phoenix Wright over here, he's been... There are some fucking rookie numbers. He's been, he's been eating pork chops this entire time. And he's still oh, I'm eating... I'm sorry. And he's still eating pork I didn't pork realize chops. that eating wasn't allowed on your channel. I mean, it's not that it wasn't allowed, it's just that, you know, we need you to control oh, yeah. the game, and you're, like, refusing to... Fucking... Part You're... of the contract I signed with God, it was like, hey, you get to be alive, but there's a few conditions. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> you can't eat on his on Mike Lightning stream. <laughs> Only we I thought it was just you can't stream. period, but uh, I guess I guess he got some alterations. Alright. Anyways, uh blah blah. Everyone's ow, ow. everyone's here. We've got we've got Chris Pratt. We've I'm got the giant Pratt that makes all of the rules. He is the giant Pratt that makes all the rules. We got Quasar. Yes, I am the fabric of society at the moment. And we got Quaff. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Earthbound reference. Alright. Uh, so I guess I'm going to be taking control until Jeremy connects to my computer. Okay, cow. Did you, say, did you call me a coward? Yeah. Fuck you. Just be late, like uh, like civilized people. I got to work like 15 minutes late today. You don't see me complaining. That, uh, I feel like you wouldn't have room to complain. I feel like your coworkers and your and your boss do. Nah, they're good with it. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna open up my Twitch chat while I'm waiting. Oh, it's Pi Day, not like Pi Day, like P-I-E. No. Yeah, you know what's, you know what's, you know what's weird? You know what's weird? What? The number Pi is like really important to the lore of Fire Force. Mm. Okay. And I uh, think that's insane. Like, that's, it's really random. It makes sense now that I've gotten to like almost the end of the, of the, the manga, but like... Alright, I'll cut my dinner a, a little a short. Note never to read that manga then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's only bad for like the first 60 chapters. <laughs> Excuse me? And then the pacing and the then the and, and, chapters before it gets good? And then the pacing fixes itself. <laughs> and it becomes it, it's actually been really good so after I think everything after uh, when they meet Fire Force, uh, Corporation 7, everything from that point onwards has been good. Except for the Tamaki versus Assault fight. That one's, that one's pretty dog shit. You know, I just realized I forgot to update my one note. Yep. You're... I'm not even gonna ask. One note. I'm waiting for Yo, the... fucker, I'm trying to connect. I never got the message. Hold well, that's on. some bullshit, because I definitely tried to get it. There we go. Oh, I shit, it's gone. Oh, there it yeah, is. I can't cancel, because you didn't get it. Cool, there we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna, if I go away from this. Hey! Alright, can you, can you control? Uh, any second now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, here we go! Trial former! I'd recommend looking over your evidence quickly. Why would I do that when I could just wing it? February, February, uh, fair enough. February 24th, 9.41am, District Court, and the lobby number two. So what do you think, Mr. Wright? Uh, I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all... The victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Lana? Eh. Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was... indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. So how'd it go? It says Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. And I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. 
dialect, come on. Your plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed if I to that if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder, they wouldn't seek capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. Ah. But, Lana, don't tell me you... Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Your sky. Hmm. We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? Bloodstained fingerprints, to be exact. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall? We have to play the cards we're dealt. Isn't that right, Miss Sky? Do what you have to do, Mr. Wright. I'm now going to walk away. February 24th, 10 a.m. District Court, Court number 9. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Well, the prosecution is. <laughs> Good for you, prosecution. I'm afraid you'll have to clarify what mmph means, though. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet the victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Wow. Wow. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things, even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. Did and that's I... supposed to be an admirable trait? Did I say that loud? Oops. Very well. Let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first witness, the prosecution calls... The suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? Oh, fuck. Um, Mr. Lightning, uh, you yeah. voiced both Will Powers and Yanni Yogi, right? I did. Okay, cool. Let's double check. I know Will Wait, Yogi returns? Wait, Yogi returns? Uh, no, I think he's no, just updating I... his one note. Oh, yeah. okay. Spoilers. <laughs> Will the witness no please state returns. his name and occupation? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm the officer Mike Meekin, sir. My occupation is, um... That will be murderer, sir. <laughs> I do it on the regular and I get paid 15 an hour for it. So you're telling us <laughs> you're a professional killer? 15 an hour? Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You gotta believe me, sir. Uh, actually, what we'd like to hear from you is, sir, I, I'm what you would call a younger generation, sir. I'm like the, I'm like the Star Trek, the first generation, a person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend. All right, please, Mr. Redwood, sir, help me, sir. Officer Meekins. Yes, sir. Give us your report of the crime. Consider that an order. Yes, sir, as you wish. After all, I am a part of a generation that must be told what to do, sir. You can't fault him for a lack of enthusiasm. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and then rushed into the room. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life, then I... I did it! After that, I passed out, until another officer smacked me awake. Hmm. So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you? Do unto others before they do unto you! That's the Meekins family motto, sir! I see. What? Then you fainted, and a colleague helped you regain consciousness? Yes, sir! He knocked me upside the head, sir! Very well. 
that events may begin its cross-examination. What I need here is more info to work with. Go ahead and press me, sir. Okay. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits, sir. Okay, that sucks. Evidence transfer was taking place on the day of the crime. Which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. The Blue Badger? Yes, sir, the lovely police mascot made by the Chief of Detectives, sir. Hello. <laughs> I wasn't sure it wasn't broken during transferal process. That was my sole mission for the day, sir. You did a great job. I see. Sounds like a very important mission. After the award ceremony finished that day, there were so many people running around that I relocated the Blue Badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? Boop. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? There it is! I found it! It's the one right there! Could you please read us the number? Yes! Yes, sir, it's 4989596. That's my number, sir. This is the jingle. Wait, but the number 4989596 is shown as being used twice. Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room, and the second time is when I went back to go get him after everything settled down. I see, so it was during that second time when... Yes, sir! That's when I spotted the man on the security screen! So you were attacked. Can you tell us exactly what happened? Knife, sir! A knife! Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you? What happened then? Well, with me charging in on, my, in on him like that, he was as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. That's what I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus, struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash on my head. Hand. Maybe if you just kept your cool, your hand wouldn't be... I saw the blood trickling down my arm and I panicked. I grabbed my man by his collar. Uh, okay. What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down for an he, instant. He actually so looks exactly the type to be into kung fu films. You took his knife? I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. I see. Must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white collar was drenched in a sea of my blood, and then... Then the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir! About what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain. That's nice. It's just very nice. <laughs> when I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir, the Blue Badger, sir. I returned rid of the entrance before things got out of hand. Well, we can all rest easy now. I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um... Yes, Officer Meekins? 
With regard to that, sir, take a look at this. It was sent to my jail cell. Chief Gant delivered it to me this morning, sir. The chief delivered it? What is that? Videotape? Yes, sir. It's absolutely right, sir. A uh, videotape, sir. It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape. And was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only really thing I'm- it's the only good thing I'm good at! Okay... Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word murder, sir. It scares me. Video of a real murder? So what are we getting ourselves into? A video of a murder, probably? Hey. Hello. Uh, you're I gonna- you're, go you're gonna have to look at this guy a lot. Please tell me the camera never pans over and we just hear the sounds of somebody dying. I think it's time for... <gasps> Sherlock Holmes! Dude, this is a fucking Jet Set Radio cutscene. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. You dropped something. Okay. Hello, Meekins. Hello. It just, it just it just pans over and Meekins is on the floor bleeding. Oh my god, okay. No, oh, she didn't show his face, that's okay. <laughs> look, look, look how coincidentally the badger's always covering his face. I know. That, that's pretty funny, don't you think? I did it specifically to piss you off, Phoenix. How'd you like it? And he's just gone. Hello, Meekins. Hello, sir. <laughs> I'm unconscious at the moment. Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? Sir, that's the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's it the was a manager, rhetorical sir. question! Why am I not surprised? Well, anyway, this tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter someone in the evidence room, and some sort of activity uh, took place. I, I was really hoping that after uh, Mike said, that was a rhetorical question, you were going to say, and I give you a rhetorical answer. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Duolingo supports gay marriage? Good. As Good they for Duolingo. That's that's pretty poggers. Thank thank you for this information. Uh, is that all right with you, Officer Meekins? Hey, marriage is all right with me, sir. And also as you wish, sir. Mm. The Japanese government, on the other hand, woo -wee. his face can't see be be seen in the video, but there's no question it was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. The locker kit. The locker he opened unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim at the crime scene would have had to have been Detective Goodman. Very well, the defense may begin his cross-examination. I don't know where this is gonna lead, but everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. Okay, I guess you don't start with pressing. I have a feeling it was the one that was right before this one. Just a feeling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Okay. What you, what you thinking about, buddy? I have no idea. All I right. Don't... So, Meekins went in there at 450, had the altercation with Goodman, no, and no. then 24 in... minutes later, Goodman went... left. He went in there at 450, placed the blue badger in there. 514, yeah. Bruce entered. 514, oh. Meekins entered to go get the okay. blue badger, saw Goodman. Okay, okay. Who clearly isn't a very good man, you, you know. Yeah, clearly Bruce is a murderer. I saw you looking at my at my at my crayon drawing of where the blood was. <laughs> I'm glad it's coming in use. The very blue clue, sir. I love that show. Uh, better Steve or Joe? Uh, I'm I'm, I'm a Steve fan myself. <laughs> third guy, so I can make some witty retort, but I don't remember him. He's just—it's Josh. And the third guy was Josh. I figured it out. Good job. Did you use Thank any clues? You. Uh, let's see. No, there was uh, no paprika to be found at the crime scene. A, a, a tragedy. You know what I could go for right about now? Some mail. So that's a thing that never fails. Ah, uh, it, it does. It does never fail. Unfortunately, <laughs> no one sent us a letter today. Why not? Well, I mean, you got sent the tape, right? I I think that, that was, I think that was our mail for the day. When that comes, it makes me want to makes me want to wail. <laughs> mail. I feel <laughs> I feel like it might be worth it to just to, to press on some stuff. Um, um, um. Was that unquestionably his locker? I don't know. I, I could have sworn I had some identifying thing. Like, I, I thought we had got something from those fingerprints. Wait, wait, wait. Can you watch the video? Uh... Yeah, you can check it. Yeah, wasn't Bruce Goodman's locker the one with the... Oh my god, that's fucking insane! What? The light's on. Oh. Okay. I literally, I literally, okay, go, go, go back. Go look at the locker. I literally just read this right now. Huh. Wow, crazy. Okay, well, um, what piece of... Huh. What of piece of words, evidence do you present here? Words. And also, yeah, is it the tape or the locker, bruh? Uh, uh, oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Thank you for giving us the answer. I literally never would have figured that out myself. Huh. Um, the, music, the music's maybe. still going. I'm pretty um, sure. Maybe. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's the, uh, the 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 one after this where he says it has to be his locker. Or... What else could have unlocked it, bruh? Why would it, Why would they do that? That's for amazing. Nope. Okay, I'm paying. Nope. <laughs> uh, present the tape on those very same things. I'm pretty sure it's that one in the middle right there. I'm hoping to God that this isn't one of those. Oh, there we go. Press. Okay. Regarding the video contained on this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that... The man may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction? Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. I accept. Uh, 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 all right. You, you don't even want to know what it is. Either way, I propose we have the defense point out to us this alleged contradiction in the video. I mean, okay, I, I was going to anyway, but okay. As I said, proposal accepted. Let's further inspect this piece of evidence. Let's go, baby. I will now play the security tape. Mr. Wright. Please show us this contradiction you speak of. 
Okay, I have to point out a problem in the video? This is the first time I've ever had to do that. You can do it, Mr. Wright. Just just point at the screen and yell and just go, it there. Just say there. Take a good look. <laughs> but don't play it too many times. I can't stand watching this video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? Now then, Mr. Wright, enlighten us. Where is the contradiction that indicates the man may not be the... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Phoenix. Uh, I gotta figure out the controls here. Eh. I know. Eh. How about I wrestle with you a bit? This contains a contradiction, Your Honor. He refuses to show the contradiction. The thing that's strange about this video has gotta be this. Officer Meekins... Sir, do you mean me, sir? There is no As I understand it, the locker apparatus works like this. When you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint, if it's a match. The light turns on and the lock is released. According to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. If so, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. Come on, dude. Uh -huh. Slowly pan over to it. There is zoom in. Computer and start spanning the other fucking way. Oh <laughs> my god! Do we have to watch the full thing? Yeah. Let's and watch Herlock Sholmes walk. Watch me dance over and over again, Phoenix. When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, well, let's rewind to a little earlier. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. No, no, it's the light. <laughs> What's this? It's already lit? What? Precisely my point, Your Honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle. Ah! He's just fucking strange. How did he handcuff himself? What? What? I didn't see what. <laughs> could, you, could you show us again, Mr. Wright? Yes, Mr. Wright, can you please make him scream again? Absolutely not. It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic okay, system. Fine, Jesus, you want to see it again? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, there, there, here we go. <laughs> Look, the light right there above the locker, okay? We good now? We good? Okay. Alright, cool, cool. We got it. No! <laughs> <laughs> When the door is shut, a sensor is triggered, and the locker is automatically what locked. What light? How do you not see the? I, I, I they're okay, messing I with you. I know. <laughs> uh, oh, I know. It must have broken down. Ooh. All right. I'm not an expert in this, but I was smart enough to figure that out. It's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor will detect and report any malfunction. Oh well. Guess it goes to show how novices should keep their mouths shut. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? That was weirdly aggressive, Your Honor. Yes, why wasn't the locker locked? Well, me, why are you asking me? I... Alright, well, okay, maybe this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Huh? Oh, um... Maybe something like jammed system sensor? Something jammed the sensor? Say... There's something else that seems out of place in this video. No, there's not. Yeah, I thought so, too. No, you didn't. <laughs> there's gotta be another clue somewhere in this footage. I don't think so. Some some, some, some clue that's, like, white and hand-shaped. No, I doubt it. Very well. Let's inspect the video <laughs> once more. The locker wasn't locked. Mr. Wright, please point out the cause for this. Fast forward. Uh, please, fast forward. Uh, <laughs> Let... No, no, not yet. Uh, a little bit. It's a little. It looks a little different, don't you think? It looks yes. a little different right there. It wasn't. Oh, it, yeah. Okay, it yeah. wasn't drawn on the cell. Uh, Can we move uh, on? That reminds me of a Hanna Barbera cartoon, because the door that you're supposed to go in is painted differently from the doors you're not supposed to go in. Why are you rewinding? I'm not. Don't be foolish. I love this song by the- <gasps> uh, Bruh. 
There it was. Sock. Uh, no, what, Your right. Honor, that's not a sock. I need you to watch closely. Right. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier, okay? <laughs> it starts from the beginning. <laughs> Slightly after the beginning. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's a glove. All right, now, now rewind. What's this? Something white fell out of the locker. But sir, it's my it's been my experience that things fall out when doors are open. I often fall out and roll great distances when I open my car door, sir. We can't be sure that item was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? In inserted? Oh my god. So, so, alright, so he walks over, and then we can't <laughs> see him for a bit. And then the camera pans back over. We stare at the blue badger for a bit, and then we Hello. see him open the door, and the glove falls out. <laughs> that fell out from behind the door. Yeah. Like, pretty egregiously. Yeah, it was, like, behind the sensor. It was, like, in between the sensor and the door. So it was stuck between the door and the... But the sensor... Okay, what do you think the sensor is? I see... I would say it's on the right, but I see what you're saying. It did fall out kind of, like, dead center. Maybe the sensor's in the center. Who knows? Maybe it was just glued on. Oh, I understand now, sir. It's just, like, my tie. Well, see, I thought what they were doing in the was, center of oh, head. you know, they got fucking Goodman's fingerprints on the glove and they managed to jam it on the fingerprint sensor, you know? But no, I guess they just literally just shoved it in the crack in the door. Yeah, exactly. Sure, yeah, that, okay. Out of three times, it gets stuck in the door when I try to get out of my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead of they the door closing, my tie chokes me. How does, your How does your tie get stuck it's underneath your jacket? True. Do you just keep it outside of your jacket and then slam it in the car door? Like, never mind. But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. It would need to be an insulator. Yes, an insulator, but at the crime scene... Why are you guys having this conversation? It's a rubber glove. It's in what evidence right now. It, 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 it is. I, I have not checked the court record in like three years. I don't know. This, this is pointless. But sir, by insulator, you don't mean. Mike, I swear to God. Are you talking to me Very or Meekins? Well, the defense Meekins. Please. <laughs> relevant evidence. So what was this insulator that was stuck in the locker door? Mm. And what, pray tell, was slammed in the car door? I found this near the locker, a thin rubber glove. But we can't be sure that that was in the victim's locker. No? You can't? <laughs> you can't? Really? There's no way to be able- there's no way to tell? Cannot be sure? You run it- I, I slammed my penis in the car door. You know, I just need you to pay very, very close attention. He's wearing white gloves too. This doesn't prove No, he's prove really it. not. He is! He's Look not. It. It's just the grayscale of the video. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that a oddly glove-shaped glove. object? Yep, I see it right on his hand. A white oh glove. God. I want this man deposed. I don't know why I'm supposed to be shocked. I mean, this makes complete sense. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker. But that isn't the case. The lit lamp attests to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Sir, it would appear so, sir. How do you manage to do that? In the span of like two seconds, he managed to handcuff himself. It's it's and handcuff the other side to his tie. It's honestly impressive. <clears throat> so weird to believe that the victim, who has bandages on his hands, was able to do that. This is ridiculous. Anyways, the person this witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman. It was Elvis. Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Redworth? The defense has merely demonstrated that possibility and nothing more. Uh, no, it's fact. We have video proof of it. Yeah. Would you like to see the video again? 
The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. I don't- I mean, okay, okay, that, okay, that's true. The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. Well, I mean, not that it is Bruce Goodman, the possibility that it's not. You're right about that. Wait, what? Oh, he's calling Bruce Goodman to the stand. Officer Meek! <laughs> Ma <laughs> Maya! Uh, get up on the stand! You're gonna- you're gonna channel spirit! <laughs> Finally! No more spirit chaining, I'm so happy to be back. Sir, me, sir. I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir. It's a joke. Very well, begin your joke. All right, so why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> See, you joke about calling the victim to the stand, but that's literally the plot of the DL6 incident. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What's the deal with the mystery man? There's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective has used his card. It, it, it can be stolen. Yeah, but it was found at the prosecutor's office. An ID which card is half record. an hour away. I see. I have the ID card record he right here, Your Honor. <gasps> the ID used by 14 is that of the victim. Damn, it'd be really cool if I could read this. Wait, you yep. have the ID? What if you walked in there, Phoenix? You did Wait, say earlier. I wonder why they only use the ID. Sergeant. Did that say Sergeant? He's a detective. Did he get promoted? Did he get a new ID card? He got promoted after he died. Did somebody steal his detective gift card? I, <laughs> gift I, card? I don't I don't think it's that important to the trial. I really hope it is. <laughs> it's, I don't think it is. I don't, yes, I feel... Sergeant Goodman and Detective Goodman are very separate people. And they both die. <laughs> they both... Oh, I'm just thinking maybe... Ah, whatever. I like how nobody here, like in this courtroom... Is calling out the fact that Goodman just fucking disappears from the video? Yup. Just before the grind. Not that important. He's just using his Eldritch invocation. Well, I think the implication is that he's dead on the floor. I guess. Probably. Without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transfer. Why were there so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. That's ironic. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too. Although it doesn't make much of a difference. There are only a few cases up for transfer all there, and most were cleared up by noon. Right. I see. Now let's move on to the cross-examination. Andrew, how many times have you put your hand to your forehead? <laughs> if only I've kept count, sir. Every single time I do this voice, I have to do it. It's part of the. It's a part of the. <laughs> the getting into character thing. I'm a method actor, you know. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, I, 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 I'm exactly the same way. Really, dang into it physically helps with the voice. Yeah, I know. When you're doing your dick gum shoe, you always gotta breathe heavily. You're thinking yeah. too hard about it. Apparently. Like always. Yeah, really get into the mannerisms, scratch your head when he's scratching your head, do the do the dog breathing, you know. Yeah, I gotta do it all. Whip out a fishing pole when he brings out a <laughs> yeah. second secret weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah get, grab my dog and, and when 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 we when he's getting it, when I'm talking about the secret weapon dog. Oh wait. Bum, 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 bum. If you play, what if you play the killer? I, in a case? I, or, or you, like I just that don't one know which one when I was playing Man for the Bottom Karma, I had to I had to shoot a bullet into my shoulder <laughs> to really get in character for that one. Uh, I guess I'll do this one. And you had to shoot somebody in an elevator, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was hard. It took a couple times to have it like ricochet back into my shoulder, but you know, I got it eventually. Oh, un momento, Officer Meekins. <laughs> I'm not good at waiting, sir. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. When I say crime scene, 
I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A lost item report? It's only half completed. But it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Uh. Something important enough to fill out this report. Let me guess. You believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order. Order. So, uh, what does this mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Order, order, order. Does the prosecution have a response? We have only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. Wright. What? <laughs> Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15pm on the day of the crime, should have been 514. The man in the evidence room, Officer Meekins, encountered was n the man in the evidence room, Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim had lost his ID card. Allegedly. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to here? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake... I think he's building up to something. ...then the murder in the evidence room is also a fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the instant of the murder. Uh, I mean, that that is... I mean, yeah, that... I get, yeah, that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago, you seemed content to be pointing your finger around. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Well, well. It seems you've finally realized. Exactly what you've gone to such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Redworth. The defense has already done the explaining for me. My man could have just wormed his way out of the fucking evidence room. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the police uh, department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. Well, now hold on. <laughs> but it might have happened on 5.14, look at the camera, it says 5.14. Just because it, it wasn't our guy. Uh. So. So the real crime could only take place at one location, the underground parking lot, at the prosecutor's office. The murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness. Eh. Observed the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. Why did I call her trustworthy? Trustworthy witness. Sorry. She literally lied to us. Hold, hold on. She I don't know why I said that. I was. I, I, forgot, I completely forgot who she was. Yeah. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something or else Lana. What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this? Well, uh, objecting has never led me wrong before. One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. 
Okay, okay we're gonna we just go oh my fucking god. I'm hey, in the middle of my monologue hey, here. There's a lot of paint on there. Hello, Phoenix. Hope you like my face. Oh, You're sweet man. merciful Christ. Did a lot. And what? whoa, look, something's Christ different over you. here. Isn't that crazy? Whoa. Uh, however, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. The only reason that Mr. Edwards is arguing this is because he got blood on his car. <laughs> Alright. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. The defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Hey. Mr. Redworth. Yes, Your Honor. If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. If th Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident of the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. Big money, big money, big money. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. Wright, do you mean... Sorry, mind Have reading. Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name. Before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well, then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would like to have testify. Why are they acting like this is a new character? What is his or her name? I don't fucking hey. know. Is it Damon hey. Gant? Hey. Oh, the gumshoe? Hey. He seems pretty Texan. Lana Sky, hey. she could be from Texas. That's a pretty Texas name. Hey. Angel Star, that's like probably Houston trash, you know? Hey. Oh, fucking God. Officer uh, Jake Marshall. Phoenix. Why him? I don't know. For fun. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution increased the defense's request. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will take a 30-minute recess while the witness is subpoenaed. Will the prosecution please witness the... During this time? Wit witness the prepare? <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll, we'll witness the prepare. We will, your honor. Court is now in recess. Hey, Phoenix, you wanna hear something funny? Yeah. yeah. Mokroi Kasaba, the 16th store lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Anyway, it's, funny, didn't it's, laugh. it's February 24th, 11.32 a.m. District Court, Trying to let me number two. Bitch. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? No? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you've figured everything out. Uh... Lana? You're the one who knows everything! Emma. You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Just put on a sticky note. You know. Stop I'll being a bitch. Mr. Wright's trying his hardest to protect you. I... I don't recall ever asking for his protection. A public defender. It's not really your choice. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? No, not at all. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals! You are. Leave. Oh. Oh. I guess I am. I'll, I'll, I'll come back later. I, I guess I'll keep these gold bars for my- Wait, wait, Gumshoe, what is it? Uh... You got a lot of milk, pal, making a detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, Detective. Anyways, I found these gold bars. You know, like, those chocolate gold coins? It's like those, but, like, they're gold bars. Oh, I didn't see you there, Chief Prosecutor Sky. You want one? That's okay. My outfit is very unnoticeable. So have you brought what I asked? Yeah, I've seen plenty of people wear military uniforms like you. Oh, 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 you mean this, right? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances. 
I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. What? I don't think it's legal, Miss Sky. Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could you- could I bother- uh, <clears throat> Could I bother you to bring me some the deal sell sell mine into the Empire? I'll need the by noon talk about crazy. The SL9 incident? Yes, that's what I said, I think. But Lana, that's... Well, I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had some brought here. Here, you might do well to read them. You've got 20 minutes. I can't believe you, the chief prosecutor, were witness in that case. Miss Sky was a witness? Mm-hmm. So anyways, Phoenix, you want one of those chocolate bars? No, I'm good. No, you're good? Okay. Uh, take it from me. You don't want anything to do with the with the serial murders. Uh, hey, you short one. Are, are you Maya? You're not Maya, right? Well, what's your name again? Uh, I, I'm Emma. Ma I, yeah. Who's Maya? You you want one of these chocolate bars? Um, I, I got way too many. Sure. Like gold bars, but it's not. They're not real gold bars. Here you go. Listen, okay. I kind of stopped trusting food that the the, the detectives and prosecutors ate. I, I feel like all of them contain aluminum fluid in some way, so. I think I'll oh, pass. Oh no, I don't need luminol fluid. Don't be silly. They Look, I, it might seem his, hipster, but luminol fluid is like the newest trend or whatever. It's gonna it's gonna pass over in a couple of like days and then everyone's gonna just forget about it. I'm I'm uranium all the way. Old school, you know? Uh, anyway. Oh uh, oh oh what? That, that I brought you your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? <laughs> this conversation is exhausting. <laughs> okay, why is your name in here? What? My name's in there. I don't know, un unless... No, it couldn't be. Lana, this SL9 incident, that, that isn't... That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as... The Joe Dark Killings. Oh, I remember that daddy's face. The... Joe Dart. No. No, no, Lana. Emma, are you the victim of a serial murder? That's over with, no! Oh, she's gone. Okay, that's... Now I'm uncomfortable. Uh, you know what? I just remembered. I gotta be somewhere. I, I gotta get more uranium salt. I'm running out. Uh, sorry, pal, but and I'm out of here. There he goes. Alright. Jake Marshall, Angel Star... Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth, not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. I feel a little left out. <laughs> I feel like they did this on purpose. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I better take a good look at this file. It's, it's, it's very big. I just imagine in the middle of the trial, Phoenix is sitting there being like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's Maybe a lot of fucking file to go over in, what, less than a day? Yo, it's time for trial ladder. Oh, thank God there's another investig There's not another investigation phase. Not yet. Well, no, no, no. No, there, there's one more trial Why? step ladder. No, please, I want to go home to my family. <laughs> February 24th, 12.14pm, District Court oh, number 9. Back. I'm carrying the entire defense fucking section of this this legal system on my back. The court will now we convene you for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Your Honor, nobody asked you to speak over the intercom for this. We're all within earshot. Oh, Jesus. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Me, partner? No, I'm just a man, same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Bailiff, can we get a confirmation on the liquid in that flask? Because I have a feeling it's sparkling water. Like, it's, there's no it's way. It's not. I've said before, it's mega seed juice. The hell is Occasionally that? Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Is that a Rick and Morty reference? Please do not disqualify yourself as a witness. Not a reference. Oh, I know. It You're... is the juice. 
As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind call it out. Why? Give it a listen. Why? Why can I never get a witness to say their name and occupation? It's not hard. Miles Edgeworth, prosecutor, and you are? Pretty sure Mike Meekin said his name. Edgeworth, you doing okay? You need some more uranium salt for your food? <gasps> I think ex- Mike Meekins might have just said, I'm the murderer. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, your honor. Whoopsies. <laughs> <laughs> that nice. was that happened very quickly. Nice badge, right? Never heard of this script. Oh, thank you. Why don't you wear your badge on your lapel? I I, I think I do. It's just a, a, you can't see it from this angle. Well, I have no way of knowing. Okay. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room the day of the crime took place. Is it correct? According to all the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado's soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. What? Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Wasn't he asking you about your schedule? Please share with us the your testimony of the day of the crime. It's not like he asked you your hopes and dreams. In plain English. I'm sorry, I can't do it the British way. I don't like them Brits. My job was to keep a wary eye on that bone orchard. They what? said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Three times Besides, in eight hours is... The room is protected by two security systems anyway. Yeah, two very reliable security systems. If I remember, well, also the Blue Badger, if you count him. But uh, if not. I remember right, I was at the street-wide side saloon at the time it went down. During work? I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the train. Your Honor, I move this man be fired immediately from his position. <laughs> you can't. I'm a patrolman. You I are can, I can fire not. him. And I definitely don't like your attitude. It's bullshit. But... I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. That's a federal You've been thing. shaving constantly. <laughs> and there's still hair on your chin. So either you're really bad at shaving. No, no that's it. That's all it is. You could no, be... you... I was gonna I was gonna do my Emma voice, but then I realized she's not here. Okay. Well, well, what do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those, Rico. Right. Well, what about the fingerprint-activated locks on the evidence locker? Fingerprint-activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? My god. He's not that good with machines. Or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses, don't now, don't they, uh, partner? Don't this talk seems to just me. like just this seems just like negli- ne- negligence. Same it's- difference, partner. And make it double. Okay, Mister Wright, he's all yours. Oh my God. Okay. You where on uh, what the fuck is a bone orchard? How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved in the security camera monitor. That room's so still, even time dies in there. No, I was just a caretaker who inherited the recordings. I mean, if it was still, it'd, it'd be already dead. You interred them? Videos of nothing aren't that useful. When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. Did you even watch them? If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I had to erase the tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. What the fuck? It just... What the fuck? (laughs) So in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. Uh, it's a... 
Yeah, okay. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that ain't my style. I'm afraid I don't understand. No desperado I know lets rules get in his way. No desperados I know join the police force. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime? Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. I can't say I do. Hmm. Okay. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks, Rico. How does this guy avoid being fired? You know how, like, when professors get tenured and you can't fire them anymore? Okay, I but you're not a professor. Cops the, don't get the, tenure. No, I did. What no, bullshit is didn't. that? Shut the fuck up, Marshall. Alright, look, you used to be a detective, well. so you've used- it's not- so you've used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course, back in my day, Locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism. I'm sorry, Rico, I'm good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. But it's just a chain. It's just a chain that rotates! The sensors on the locker handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that, too. At any rate, it doesn't seem that this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing at the time when the crime took place? What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. Classic cowboy food. Exactly! Not even angel steak lunches can beat that parlor's run goal of sepia pasta. Do you mean to tell us? Sepia. You had lots of spaghetti! Yeah! You wanna go and get some, Judge, after this? No. Not all desperados eat tacos, we go. Also, a, a very famous cowboy food. I hope yeah. this taught you a lesson. That's real strange. This is usually where Edgeworth says, Did you not want to raise this year? No, that was a knee slapper. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall. That's right, uh, that's right, Rico, or as you'd call it, evidence. If you plan to pin the knee to this here crime, then you'd better draw. Otherwise, you can draw. Oh, sorry, my bad. Time. <laughs> what kind of Rosso? Emma, no, come back! <laughs> uh, I'm still waiting for to take me back west into the sunset. Hmm. One thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for the guarding of the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Uh, Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Except their mama. <laughs> what was that, Rico? I said, except their mama! Alright, apparently superiors don't. I have a trump card up my sleeve, so I best keep it cool. Before I use it, though, I'd better up the ante. AKA, oh, keep oh, pressing! I feel like I... Uh, did you press the first statement? Just press them all. But I did. Press just, them all again. Just do it again! But I don't want to. You gotta. But I you would didn't really... Even say a single thing. How are you supposed would... to contradict literally nothing? I don't know. I thought earlier I had thought of something and then I forgot it. He did say something know. contradictory, but you can't you can't present against it. But I want to. In one of your in one of your presses, he was like, "Oh, I haven't been there in weeks, but we know he's been in there." How do we know again? Because I think that's the one I thought of. Go too. go to the far right. We have his handprint on his locker. His bloody handprint. Far right. More. Third page of evidence. Hello? He, he died. Yeah. He died. He died while looking at a rubber glove. Yeah, real unfortunate. 
He was a promising one, too. Uh. Oh, so he actually did die. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Don't, 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 don't. Anyone, anyone had any good tacos lately? Don't, don't, don't. Because I know Marshall hasn't. Don't, don't. I haven't I, had any, um, I, any I, I haven't, that, no. That weren't handmade and like, I, sorry, not handmade, homemade in a while. And and they're not like fancy or anything. It's you fall fall in tortillas and some meat. Yep. I can't recall the last time I've had. A uh, you know what? You, you know what I'm gonna do while we wait. I would love to know. I'm gonna play this video. Oh shit! <laughs> no. Yeah. Play the video. We gotta see it. All right. <laughs> okay. Did you not hear me when I said hold on? No. <laughs> no. All right, sorry about that. None of us heard you when you said, "Hold on." All right, what happened? What the fuck were we doing? Something about something about his like bloody handprint. A bloody handprint on page three. Marshall's fingerprints. Okay, cool. But like I said, he he said that he said that during a press. Yeah, I know. Uh, I guess I guess I'll take a picture of the fucking handprint. Uh, I was like, uh, I just made sure not to move in the security camera monitor. That room's so still. Even time dies in it's there. It's the same. It's the same thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Just get me, Rico. Fuck you. <laughs> I think that one might work, but... Ain't I, I'm skipping this too, Rico? You've already fucking said all of this. What, you don't like the sound of my voice as much as No! I do? Oh, damn. Nobody likes your voice as much as you do. How much do you like your voice? That's a scale not from true. 1 to 10. A lot, everyone back in my hometown of L I mean, Texas likes my voice. Oh, yeah? Why'd you move out here? Um. Prospects. Bullshit! You got run out of town by torches and pitchforks, out. didn't you? You, you? you know how the go good the gold rush is out here. In Tokyo? In San Fran's Tokyo, yeah. It's not a real place. We That's are literally in the Twilight Zone. I uh, thought we were in the courthouse. Imagine a world where the legal system wasn't what you thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was exactly like this, since I'm here right now. Well, Judge, I hate to break it to you, but you... Are in the twilight zone. <laughs> I can't do. I, no! He's got such a specific voice. I can't do it. I don't even remember what he sounds like. It's been so long since I saw a Twilight Zone episode. I'm in the twilight zone. I watched so the cool. intro to one the other day. I haven't the watched it in a while either. What? No, no, no. The new one. The old one. Oh, it's a good show. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna fucking do this this fucking one just because I don't have any other ideas. Okay. When are they gonna make hey, Rico, the Rico, dash? Me with your evidence. Uh, it's not that one. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? My job is to keep aware of the Rico, 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 Something strike you as odd? That is, you being called to, in to testify like this? Okay. You weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. Okay. Uh-huh. Explain yourself, partner. Uh, no. Uh... So basically, you left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or, to be exact, a handprint. Okay, I'm back with the croissant. Did I miss anything? You no. didn't- Bro, you gotta get me a croissant, too. You know I like croissants. Listen real good, Rico. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that there crypt. I pay my respects. 
Uh, that is, make my rounds about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be there. I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away, however. A luminol test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall? Huh. Seems to me... You're one of those newfangled luminol drinkers. There ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. Marshall was literally talking about drinking luminol the other day. Like, li act about actually, that was today! That was literally earlier today when we spoke to you. Earlier today. Emma, for you, God's sakes, come know. inside the courthouse. Stop screaming things from between the doors. I, I'm you know. scared. <laughs> she keeps fading in and out of existence. About the blood stain fingerprints. Very well. You may begin your testimony about the fingerprints. I found at the crime scene. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that Eva dance room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Uh... Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? Uh... See, I had nothing to do with it. The sheer odds of that. Hmm. Anyone else notice that the witness's gloves are digitless? Fingerless, you mean? Although no, the three worked right. out in what Mr. Wright just said. Oh god, not this argument. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something, I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. So now we just, like, present the video, right, and be like, he doesn't have gloves on. Bum ba bum bum ba bum bum ba bum bum ba bum Oh, whoopsies! That was rough. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I thought for a second the music stopped. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna be so <laughs> mad. <laughs> you, you haven't even looked at those files yet. Should I actually, I actually didn't even think, I totally forgot about them. Uh, clothes, perpetrator, Joe Dark, don't care. Oh, I fucking died, okay. Hmm. No, not Jeb Bates. Edward Jones, Edith Kirby, Jeb Bates, Jeb Bates Jason Knight, Rachel Moss, Neil Marshall. Neil Marshall? We've all been debated. Okay, it's interesting. Miles Edgeworth, Lana Sky, Emma Sky, Executive, Demon Damon Gamble. I'm gonna refill my Megacy juice. Wait. Okay, she was a witness. And an investigator? Okay. Head investigator. Bruce Goodman. Jake Marshall. Angel Star. That's really interesting. Okay. Is that the whole Wait, thing? Yeah, if, anything, if anything, I feel like this trial is going to end with the SL9 Vincent being brought up and Jake Marshall being like, you've got no way to tie me. And then you're like, your brother. Hmm. Your Honor, that statement contradicts us. So okay, it wasn't that one. It wasn't the tape. Nope. I'm so sad. There's something about this vase. Vase. It's a jar. Thing. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. That was really stupid, Phoenix. <laughs> I mean... No. I'm gonna start pressing stuff! Yeah, I don't fucking know. Alright, pressing time! That's because you... How did you put it... Pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. 
Well, that locker happens to be mine, Rico. What? What do you mean? You mean Rico? Or, uh, oh, uh, I mean what I said. And that's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use as a patrolman. All that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken hopes and dreams. I see. And also sometimes that one goat kid. Don't know how he gets in there. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Well, dead center is a weird place for them to be, considering the only place on the door you should be touching is the handle. What, you don't frisk your locker for traps? Not the sheer surfaces, no. Okay. Must have been using the finger to unlock all this time without ever knowing. Before. So then, what about the bloody handprints? Wasn't mine. It's no mystery, Rico. Please explain. Okay. I'll do it nice and slow for you, Rico. My locker is covered with my fingerprints. Following so far? It just so happened the mother touched the locker where my fingerprints were. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that are not happening are a million to one. My fingerprints That's are not a real argument. Get also, one. no, they're not. They were specifically in that spot. Get one thing straight, re did you Did you test the whole thing? Did you well, test the whole surface? You're not going to get no reward from me with a mere fingerprint. You want to know why, Rico? Unrelated. They're as different as night and day. They're kind of like cereal and cereal, you know. One's got to do a breakfast while the other's a type of murderer. He's right. Although seemingly alike, they're totally different. I... that... He knows basic English. That doesn't mean... That doesn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> like you knew what homonyms were before I brought them up. I learned about homonyms in the third grade. <laughs> you went to school? <laughs> I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up on the reports. There was a blood stain at the scene thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found on Detective Gum Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, one second. I'll hold be on. right back, gotta get my popcorn. Hold on. Right. Hold on. Right. Hold on. I'm, hold on. I'm digging through the evidence. Right, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just one second, alright? Oh, uh, okay. I'm just looking through the evidence, okay? Mm-hmm. Just, just a second. Your, uh... Your, 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 your jacket looks nice today. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, now I've collected my popcorn warmer. We've really got to stop letting witnesses use the court microwave. I didn't. I used the campfire. Made it right here. It would have taken way longer than that. Anyway. What's happening now? Oh, right, 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 Hand, uh, handprint, uh, yeah. So that would mean the murderer wearing gloves happened to place their hand on top of Officer Marshall's fingerprint. That's the only logical conclusion. It's really not. Are you starting oh, to get the picture? wait, the I'm stupid. It still is the tape, but for a different reason. Okay. The picture? This seal of blood. In the desert, it's just food for the buzzards. Buzzards do not eat blood. You've never been to Texas. You don't know nothing. Buzzards are not exclusive to Texas. What? Where you learned that? The internet? Don't Logic. trust the internet. Only trust your own eyes. You've There's watched a buzzard reality, swoop down from this, the sky the one you and see start drinking own. blood. Yes, like buzzards do. Okay, perhaps was the blood attached to meat? 
Mr. TX, do you have a point? Okay. Where did that joke even come from? This is In me. the first trial, he introduced himself as as TX for, as for his last name. As a uh, reference to a band or something, I think. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So long as my trail isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. Uh, yeah, Your Honor. Continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Oh, shit, didn't mean to do that. Oh! Uh... Go to that last one? Or, wherever, wherever the, yeah, that one. Okay, so remember in the video how a piece of cloth just randomly shows up in Marshall's locker at the very end? Are you sure it wasn't there at the beginning? No, it's not. That means he had huh. to have opened his locker. Yeah. I'm gonna press it first, but it's a good idea. What do you mean by that? You want me to tie this to the crime? Isn't that right, Rico? No, I want to tie you to the crime, partner. Yeah, that's what I said, Rico. No, you said you wanted to tie this to the crime. First of all, I don't know what the fuck this is, but... If so, that video is the only direct evidence you have. Agreed. But that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Places you can't see. Camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, they could leave the room without being caught on tape. I mean, seriously, who puts a camera in a horizontal room in the we middle of a wall on a tripod? Your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence that this video that indicates this Officer Marshall was present, please do so now. Oh, good thing you pressed. Holy shit, John's playing Elden Ring? That's new. Whoa. Holy shit, that's Allow a me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright. We well, might wind up being the one making the mistake. Now then, let's have another look at the video. Oh. Just been begging for that. Show us the incriminating evidence. So, so, then, so then he opens the door, the glove falls out, and then, and then Meekins walks Meekins. in. And then Meekin uh, tries to sneak up behind him, gets stabbed. Uh, is and... it there now? No, okay. So Meekin's is gone. And now it's there. Eh. Bringing our attention back to the security camera, it's a mistake I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. Huh. The days are short in Texas. And so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less, Rico? I, I can't argue with the day thing. I don't know enough about the sun's movements. But I feel like it probably changes year-round. Yeah, but they're shorter on average. I, I, I wouldn't... I'm not, I'm not familiar. You're probably right. I don't know. All right, look. I'm moving on. You can clearly be seen in this video. Exactly eight words. Not bad, Rico. The key... Lies in a certain locker shown in the video. Okay, okay. That. That locker with the white cloth sticking out. That was the witnesses, I believe. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. God, he took off that ensemble, put it in that locker really quickly. Yeah. I mean, like, seriously, in a matter of, like, five seconds, he took off an entire suit. The white cloth is gone. What the heck? Actually. Oh, I can't look at it right now. Okay. Can now can I look at it? This officer, Marshall. I wish fucking I can't fast forward. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> what do you think that sign back there says? I don't know. Fucking. Okay, it looks like he is wearing yeah, the tie. Bandana, like, above his. Like, yeah, tied to his neck. 
I just want to see because he's definitely wearing the hat yeah, and the coat. It's a full coat, so he could just be wearing his normal clothes underneath and the coat over it. And I'm hoping right we get a decent look it. at it because I know he's in the background of this shot. Oh, come on! Oh, yeah, there's yeah, no way of knowing. No, I'm oh, 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 he's wearing the tie. He's wearing a shirt and tie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then, it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Order, order. It would seem that's the only. Hold your horses. Sorry, partner. But you got the wrong man. So my locker was opened. That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it, Rico. You stupid son of a bitch. The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened the locker and he stuck it in. You stupid son of a bitch. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. Have you been paying attention? You stupid son of a bitch. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? This guy isn't just playing dumb. He really doesn't know. I hate to rain on your parade, but you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah, I got all your bluff, Rico. You say open that locker, prove it. Why is this even? Why is this even a thing? Come on, shoot your evidence at me. Gun me down. Uh, fingerprint sensor. We've been over this. We talked about it earlier today. The lockers can only be opened by the detectives they belong to. What kind of crazy talk is this? It's nothing new, really. I, uh... Flashback, flashback, flashback. Flashback, flashback. So, Sheriff, what do you have to say in eight words or less? Can I have some of that? That doesn't... Oh, actually, that looks pretty fucking dry. Never mind. I only got one word for you, partner. No! I only got one word for you, partner. No, that's nine. Wait, no, never mind, that's eight. It's definitely nine. Witness, explain yourself. I mean, if you count the contraction as two words, it's nine. No, it's definitely nine. No, it's nine, never mind, I've I'm wrong. only okay. got one word for you, partner. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. And then no is the joke, joke. Rico. It's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. And did you have custom ordered a tearaway version of Mr. Goodman's attire? Ole! Please answer the question. Is he now a bullfighter? <laughs> No, I'm just imagining- That's alright, Officer Marshall. No, I'm just imagining Marshall's like, the tear away fucking the- <laughs> the, the entire trench coat, plus the suit and tie. <laughs> like, I believe we can figure the rest out from here. We can? Have a look at these floor plans. There's no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's so, then... Where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Well then, let's hear it. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime? I mean... Where was he? Wait, hold on. Wait, the which one of these is Meekins? Person. I think I think Meekins is K. Oh, victim killer. Victim killer. Why would... Yeah, why would Meekins be K? Because I he's because you know, he's Meekins. I don't know. No, because because he's like the supposed murderer of of Goodman in the Evidence Walker, but we we already proved that's not the case. But they're just too lazy to change it. You know what? This okay. is making me stressed. Okay. I'm gonna get another crystal. Huh? I don't know if it's V or K. All this. I'm gonna <laughs> go with. V. I mean, in the video when they <laughs> fight, he was he's... in the locker. Yeah, because yeah. Marshall was at the locker. Oh, Officer cold. Marshall was standing right here. Why did it stay on the screen for so long? There, but that's. That's where the victim, Detective Goodman, was. Correct. Unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in the video is, off is Officer Marshall. 
It was you, dressed up like Detective Goodman. I accidentally got a bolognese, but it should be good enough. But that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. What are you getting to talk about? May I point out, though, that D Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's reaction when confronted. Ooh, flashback, 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 flash... Flashback. Flashback, flashback, flashback. Something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? He would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. <gasps> As you can see, Detective Goodman is Detective Goodman's picture is on his ID card. Why they oh, removed the picture even though well, hold on, open the court record, right? It's on, yeah. Oh, uh, we have to, okay, never mind. We have to open it to see it. Never mind, okay. Yeah. I thought it was always it's too many. It's too many pixels for a Nintendo DS to render. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he showed that, his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? Um, God, please just tear that jerky already. You know, I kind of walked in at an awkward moment, so I don't know what's happening, but, um, No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm got yeah, that's just a that's a whole other nope with some more nope. Um some more nope. Um Rico. You're gonna have to do better than that to break me. Unless you have hard evidence, rock hard, rock solid, long thick evidence. Boob and I dressed up as the victim. You can't do nothing, Rico. Hmm. I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition. I can't say oh I care for your you, already used, you don't see You me used that. You definitely used that one liner before. Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as a victim? Well, oh, my kid, I don't have anything like that. I can see the fear in your eyes, Rico. Seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. Mmm. This can't be happening. It's so obvious he's the one. What can I do? Hmm. It looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you run into a wall with no place to go, well, John's playing Final Fantasy XIV online instead of Elden Ring. That's that's insane. Not... Fucking insane. Damn, that's pretty cringe, partner. The basics. For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Phoenix, try thinking outside the box. That's not believing your client till the very end. <laughs> I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. Phoenix, believe in the me that believes in you. I should look for evidence that came about because he was in disguise. Phoenix, believe in the you that believes in the me that believes in the you that believes in the me that believes in the you that believes in the you that believes in the me that believes in the Is this ever going to stop? Edgeworth, please stop this. What do you think this locker was open in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yet he did, despite the chance it might be discovered later as it has been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument, Officer Jake Marshall dressed up as a detective government at the time of the crime. Then after the crime was quote-unquote committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. Honestly, Judge, it's... Depressing you haven't put this together yet. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So, just what exactly is this piece of cloth? Well, I mean, maybe. I'm just throwing ideas out here. Maybe the video is the key to all our unanswered questions? <laughs> this is my only shot. <laughs> this damn video again. Let's take another look at this Security tape. After witnessing the crime, the witness opened the locker to put away the white cloth. Please show us why the witness had to open up the locker. Rico, Pato Rosso, aren't you two supposed to be working against each other, not together? 
Yeah, I, I have the answer. I don't know I have what the, the fuck I'm one. supposed to click here. Hey, hey, I got it. I got you, it. You I know just, the answer. You just click on his clothes? Yeah, or? Yeah, it's no, it's no, not no, going to okay. give me the answer. Check this out. I'll tell not, you when to pause. It's not the it's gloves. Right. It's soon. It's soon. It's soon. It's almost here. It's almost here. It's soon. It's, it's now. There it, there it was. It was right there. Oh, yeah. the blood he got. Yes. If I'm wrong, I'm... Oh, thank Christ. For some reason, you disguised yourself as Detective Goodman. And entered the evidence room, though I don't know what, to what end yet. Yeah, Rico. However, something unexpected happened. Officer Meekins barged in on you. When asked to show your ID card, you pulled a knife on him. However, Officer Meekins panicked, and the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. A bloody white coat. You couldn't just walk out like that, so you hid the coat in your locker. Very poorly. Not bad, Rico. But quickly. True. I mean, my God. Very quickly. Now then, Officer Marshall, are you ready to tell us the truth? Looks like I underestimated y'all. Judge Rico Capato Rosso. I hope you're happy now, Capato Rosso. You had a quick curiosity. Is like two years. Like the, like the, the, the black slash like gray shit. Is that his hair or is that like from, from the hat? No, that I think that's his hair. I think he just has long hair. Okay. Oh, I assumed it was really like a. Hair. I assumed it was like a. Like a. Like rags or something. That's what I assumed. Well, I, I assumed mean, if you, if you look at the security tape, I, mean, I might be have very long hair. Because it looks like, like cloth, dude. Like. Yeah, but if you look in the security tape, he doesn't have a whole. Uh, like. Long hair at all? Yeah. Uh, it could be. Ooh, or he does the classic cosplayer thing where you tie it up, so you can put wigs on in that way. You know. Yeah, we need to see the answer to this question because I swear, like, I thought his hair was like suspiciously cloth-like for a very long time, and this I, video I, might. I, just be I just it. assumed it was like a just a piece of cloth, like. Because sometimes I mean, in I the desert, be people will put their walk. shirts over their heads to keep themselves cool. But I always assume... Yeah, look, right there. Yeah. See? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I guess it is cloth, but I don't know. I always thought it was hair. Yeah. If you only have as persistent then as you are today, well, we all wouldn't have to be here now. Now would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what you did. All of it. All right. You see, this cloth on my head is actually a fusion of both hair follicles and cloth. That is Bro, disgusting I, and not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I had to do it that day and I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the detective's ID and I dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. And managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on the camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 5.15. That's right, it was at 5.14. So the supposed victim was really you. No, but there's one thing I still don't understand. Traces of a large quantity of blood were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Minkins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is he's the donor. He bled that. There's way too much blood for such a small donation. When you say it, you mean. Do you even have to ask, Rico? The SL9 incident. Two years have passed since that case was closed. It was going to completely end with the transfer all that day. Not if I have anything to do with it. That incident's not over. Dude, I fucking... I don't know how I feel about that shading on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like modern art. Yeah. What did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only that case's least dete lead detective can look through the evidence. I wanted to have a look at it myself one more time, no matter what the cost. 
I don't care what anyone says, Rico. That case is mine. Hmm, but Officer Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? That day was my last chance. That's why I... Do, 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 do. Why did you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? Please stop. Okay. If I didn't make it look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transfer, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. And so you did it to fool the security camera. That's right, Picardo Rosso. And the detective's ID card? I stole that the morning of the incident. Isn't that a crime already? So that really was why Goodman started yeah, filling out the last time report. I would have gone away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. I returned this ID card. I left it on the floor in the prosecutor's office parking lot. <laughs> what? Wait, <laughs> bullshit. No, hold on. <laughs> it's 512. You just fucking left it on the floor what, by his dead body? Like. Do, 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 do. Parking lot. Floor plan. Look, it was the autopsy. That was an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Okay. He could have. He could have. Right. He could have left it after the murder took place. Like, yeah, yeah but it's it's half an hour happened. there. Okay. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Right. Think, you're, think, think no, about it. it. The first, the first it. person we talked. Remember, to... it's it's Phoenix who picks the, who picked it up and not. A yeah, yeah, no. I get it. I get it. I get it. So essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. Whoopsies. Yeah, that's a very nice badge, right? I'm aware. I'm a oh, god fucking. Not as nice as my badge, Rico. Your badge sucks dick. What do you mean, Capato Rosso? I mean, it sucks like dick. I mean, the fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have been able to open that lock for yourself. But he could because the rubber glove just happened to get stuck in the door. That means Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. I wasn't expecting Meekins, I knocked him out. Why? 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 You pulled a knife on Officer Meekins and tried to drive him off? Let's just say I was a little... surprised. I don't want to was it the, was it, in the evidence. What? Was it, the, was it the same knife you're using to shave yourself right now? No, it's a different knife. No, I guess no, this one. No, not this one. Actually, maybe this one. Um... Anyway, the, I only planned on being in the evidence room for no oh, more right. than There's five, only one real way to find five. out. Oh, here we go. Do, do, do. I'm pretty sure it's a full knife. That's how long this videotape is. I think Meekin's skin is just that fucking strong. Oh my god, this he walks so slow. Oh, so he walks very slow. Okay, now I'm fucking Meekins coming over. Any second now. Is it just me or does the blue badger speed up when it's time to block uh fuck his face? He does. I as I said, Phoenix, I did it just to annoy you in particular. Oh, I think that's... It's definitely not the knife he's holding. It has a very pronounced hilt. It's or, also... Um, it's, know, also guard. it's also not Edgeworth's knife. It doesn't look like this oh, wait, one. Wait, why did I say Edgeworth? It's my knife. It's not my knife. But it is your knife. But it isn't. That was in my toolbox. But it, why would it be in your toolbox if it wasn't your knife? Well, that, well that, the knife in, in the evidence locker is my knife. Well, it's not, not the evidence locker. My bad. Sorry. The, uh, the, the court record. Like the red one is your knife, not this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh... I, also, I still want to know what knife he used to cut Meekins. A different knife, I guess. All right. I don't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. Officer Meekins is certainly a one-in-a-million type of person. Mistaking a detective for an intruder and demanding to be shown his ID. We'll have to think a little more about his raise this year. <laughs> There's the line! <laughs> when did Edgeworth get so much influence? He doesn't. It's just prosecutors have that much influence. Anyway, he threw himself at me and I ended up cutting him slightly. Oh, you said he cut himself. 
Mm, I'm sorry it had to turn out that way. With me knocking him out and everything. By the way, what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? I fucking called it! No, mm -hmm. there's no way. I didn't want to use my shaving knife, but you know how it is. So no, we just watched that. the same fucking clip. It's not the same knife. <laughs> Whatever you say, Rico. Maybe it's a removable hilt. Motherf I will removable fucking... hilt? No, it's a completely different blade. It... Uh... No, you see, it's like a pocket knife. I, no, sorry, it's like a Swiss Army knife, but all different types of knives instead of other types of tools. That's not a thing. I oh, see. So you did your research beforehand. I made. Those who go into the desert unprepared don't live long. We go. I didn't think it would make a difference, though. The security tape is erased every um, about six hours. If all had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However. You bloodied your coat in the struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in the security room when I came out, the jig would have been up. I opened my locker and stashed it in there. What was Officer Meekins doing during that time? Bleeding on the ground. <laughs> what else? He was sleeping like a baby bambina. <sighs> like I want to do, Jesus Christ. So what you're saying is on that day. But the blood found at the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you, blind, Rico? The victim shown on that tip is me, and I'm not dead yet, Rico. You know you murder did. isn't the only crime, right? So you stole the evidence from the locker. Huh. Actually, no, I didn't. Why not? Why not? <laughs> when I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. What? Mr. Redworth, where's the evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. I didn't pay you for a pipistrillo, right? Detective Goodman's locker was already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Fire away, Pipistrello, it's a free country. Just remember, I'm also free to decide whether or not to answer. Well, that's not necessarily true. The judge have, has final say. Why did you do this? Stealing a detective's ID, injuring a police officer? This, this is no small offense. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. It can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. <sighs> like I said, this is in your case. Neither of yours. No one's. Well, this is actually, it's kind of Edgeworth's case, in a way. It really isn't. I mean, he was really? the head prosecutor. Capado Rosso, is, it's not his case. It's, no, well, it's not your case either. It's the thing is, it's it's Goodman's I'm case. I think it's Jeff Bates. Let me explain myself first. No. Okay. Fuck you, Pipistrello. <laughs> hmm. The witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. I do love a good zeal. I can't just animal. forget the SL9 incident. You know why? That Chicken case was die. solved two years ah. ago, wasn't it? No. That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. Joe Dog was convicted for his crimes. One thing I can say for sure is he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders, didn't it? <sighs> I don't intend to complain about how it turned out, but there's something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? IDK. That's what I'm trying to find out. Ah, yes. The very famous cowboy line, IDK. <laughs> yeah. We said all the time in LA, I mean Texas. I think you're gonna have to present the fucking case file. I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. 
Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Shouldn't it be the S- been keeping too much cactus deuce, Pipistrello? Shouldn't it be the SL9 incident? Because there's multiple murders? Um, I no, the SL9 incident refers no. to the evidence tampering. Oh, okay. Bye. Right. The name Bye. Marshall is mentioned Bye. in here. Bye. In a list of murder victims, Bye. Neil Marshall. Are you related to this man? Huh. Neil Marshall? Huh. But Strella, I guess you're not blind at all. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago. See, what bugs me is we still haven't figured out who killed Goodman. You received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. What? A prosecutor? You must be talking about the King of Prosecutors award. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And the case fell into your hands, Capato Rosso. But what's his relation to you? He was my Okay, Jesse it's his hair. hair. What? He was How investigating he the murderers it? with Damon Gant, the then deputy chief of police. Why is his hair so cloth like? I told I was, you I infused it with cloth particles. How I was so much more comfortable team? when it was just when it was just like a hat. I'm not- I don't like this. <laughs> How did he replace his long-ass strands with sideburns? Who's that guy on the right? That looks more like the guy in the video- Okay, that's Bruce Goodman, isn't that's, it? That's actually yeah. Goodman. That's what I'm you saying. That's, so how is this disguise? We were desperate to prosecute the killer. That guy oh, right there. Joe Biden. Oh. And Joe Biden. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My brother <laughs> got Biden and was killed. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time Biden left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. This can't get us arrested for, like, you know, defamation of the president, right? <laughs> I, no, <laughs> obviously. No, of course I, not. It's best, it's best that we retire the bit. That's the best <laughs> it's gonna get. <laughs> he, he was a... What the fuck is that word? Arraigned. 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 It's arraigned. Arraigned. He was insert fucking stupid ass word here. And incarcerated. incarcerated. The f case was finally closed. At least according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by uh, Joe Bedark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. And that's it. That's your reason for your insane actions. Well, I wouldn't call them insane, but that's that's about the gist of it, Capato Rosso. But no matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. Yep. Now it's time to solve our case. <laughs> that was nice, the last day it? the SL9 case could be reopened. No, Edgeworth, shut up. Not satisfied with its res oh, sorry. Not satisfied with its resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Officer Meekins confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. The things that happen by chance never cease to amaze. At exactly the same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the police department. Gotta be more than just that. So if no one was murdered at the police department at the pla at the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office in parking lot was the real one. Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. That's not true. Angel Star was there too. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. But hold on, a verdict wasn't reached in yesterday's trial. Which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. But there's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. 
there yet remained the mystery of the simultaneous murder at the police department. It seems to me this boy's got the draw. On you draw? Uh, my, my, my bad. All of the mysteries of the police department have been resolved. No doubt about it. Our sole murder took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Sky. And the testimony of one Miss Angel Star is completely incontestable. Why? I. It really isn't. If you have a response, make it a single word or less. Make it no. I was gonna say. Uh, I was gonna say objection. Hold it. Take that. That's I good. rest my case. Fuck. That's good. That's a good one. It. That's my word. There's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time disproving the alleged murder at the police department. There's no doubt what I proved today is true. Apparent murder on their security tape's camera. Whatever. But I didn't realize... That would end up proving Lana guilty. Now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Where's the Emma objection? <gasps> Bruh. Um, it was a whole. Oh, you, you got it right. It, it a, is me. I'm... Fucking. Your Honor, wait. How did? Would you? Did you crawl here? How did nobody notice you? You got all oh. the way to the fucking witness stand. Yeah, it was pretty easy, honestly. Everyone, right. everyone was focused on the judge. The defense has an objection. A scientific objection. Right. What do you mean, right? Mr. Wright. Are you this girl's guardian? Your Honor, uh, I guess. Please, Your Honor. All I'm asking for is a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edgeworth, please. I drew that art of you. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. That drawing this is pretty be a, good. This is gonna be a Dragon Ball in three minutes, isn't it? I We're gonna I be here for at least shock. 40 episodes. I mean, finding out the SL9 incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. Now that she mentions it, the name's about Sky and Sis- Oh, fuck. Whatever. <laughs> but that's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day. So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing. The other handprint. You mean the traces of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker? But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So, I ran over there and looked at it again. Check it in. So, did, did you find anything? Not at all! Okay. Sorry. I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. What a you great just, use of three just, minutes. It you just haven't been to school. Okay, look. Is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. Oh, you are still in high school. Okay. I'm... But Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them... Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone can save Lana, it's you. Me? Oh, fuck, that's right, I'm, a, I'm, a deter I'm an attorney. Time's up. Now then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Uh... It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? The videotape. To the tape! Uh, oh my uh, god. It actually was. Ah, <laughs> uh, this trial's great. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry I can't be of more use. But still, if you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lana will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. Yes, Your Honor. If, I've, if ever I've needed to concentrate, it's now. What could be wrong with that handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? What? I mean, yeah. it probably wasn't there 
when Meekins left, right? Because it would have had to have been there Be- because Meekins would have noticed when he put the yeah, blue surely. badger in front of it. Well, and when he took it out, right? Yeah. Well, he might have just assumed that it was a part so of somebody the- died there after five fourteen. Uh, handprint contradiction. Toast. The only thing that seems clear is you're grasping, Mr. Wright. You've been staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Yeah, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something hasn't been drawn on there? Okay. Yes, something that, when drawn, will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Does it say, hello, by any chance? I hope, I hope not. Mr. Wright. Did 11037? With all this evidence here, there's gotta be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing? No, no, no. Yes, every time. It's the blue badger. Yeah. As they say back west, even a blind man can hit with buckshot. That is... So long as he's facing the general direction. It seems Mr. Wright's not sure which direction to face. No, hey, the, look, the videotape is the proverbial buckshot it's, because it's there's just so the many clues tape. in it. I literally said, does it say hello for a reason? I don't, I didn't fucking get that. What piece of evidence? Just calm down, Mr. Hello. Wright. Try to remember what the evidence room was like know. on the day of the crime. The blue badger is in the videotape. I need you to say... Hello. No, he's he's in the or video clearly. tape, though. Huh? But what do you need me to say? I don't understand. Hello. He's he's clearly blocking it in the video tape. I don't... Hello? No. You know oh, son this. of a bitch. It's in the evidence. I don't fucking... This is a blue bit. Wait, oh. Wait, hold on. Oh my god! Bro, it's the blue badger. Oh, just no, present the blue badger. No, hold on. I just want to check something. I just want to check something! I know. Why Why did you need me to say hello? Because he wasn't understanding instantly like he uh, should have. Well, come go. Hello. Thank I'm you. I'm just checking something, okay? Jesus. Okay, here we go again. You really hate me that much. Okay. Yes, desperately. Okay. What about that piece of pla- <laughs> Oh god, I, I The Blue Badger, mascot second. of the police force, <laughs> defender of truth, guardian of proof. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Oh god, my heart. Please look at the floor uh, plans of the crime scene. The Blue Badger is, no is not compa. here. Uh, so watch what happens when we put him in. Is this is where he was dancing at the time of the crime? Uh, well? Well what? Oh, God. Is somebody going to help right. that man? No. So long as the no. main badger is dancing here, it would be uh, impossible to place a handprint at this spot on the locker. What? Oh, God. It's, it's even worse now. Is this he so man's high? clearly in pain. Is he something cardiac arrest? Get some... Get a doctor, please. What does this mean, also? I'm... I'm... I'm I, I was going to say I'm a doctor, but I'm actually a scientific investigator. Well, it means it can't be done. What are you saying? Blood traces were undeniably found on the locker. Don't look at me, I didn't put it there. Mr. Wright, think it through scientific- How did I get over here? <laughs> I'm up. Just a nice <laughs> vault. <laughs> on that afternoon. <laughs> Officer Meekins was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would have been possible to leave a hamper on that locker. So that must mean this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in. Just one moment. I will not allow far-fetched in my courtroom. You didn't say balderdash, your honor. Balderdash! It may cool, sound how dare sick, you your say honor. that? But it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st in the police department's evidence room, blood was spilled not once, but twice. But how? One time was captured on this tape, taken by the security camera. Officer Meekins cut his hand from which a trivial amount of blood fell. 
The problem- God, his head really moves just barely not out of the way. Yeah. The problem is the other time. Please stop showing the blue badge. I think it's making it worse. Oh, God. Someone bled prior to the struggle shown on this tape. It had to have been... It had to have been... Detective Goodman when he was really murdered. And Meekins is just blind. That's ridiculous! I refuse to accept your absurd claim! The murder portrayed in the security tape has been proven to be a fake. However, that does not explain the blood mark found on the locker and Meekins' blindness. So then, assuming this murder you purport- You put what? When did it take place? I demand you show evidence that proves when it occurred. Oh huh, sure. Let's get uh, let's get Meekins to uh, to an orthodontist, or an optometrist. To summarize, the defense claims that prior to Officer Meekins being cut by Jake Marshall, who was posing as Detective Goodman, another quote-unquote incident took place in that evidence room. That's right. The blood mark on the locker proves this. And Very also well. the giant pool of blood that we are, are, are ignoring. Tell us. Now, Meekins just has thick veins. <laughs> when did this and poor eyesight first incident occur? As Mr. Edgeworth said, proof must be presented. Proof that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that can show that. Now then, present it, please. When was the first crime? I'll tell you this, right? It's not the video. <sighs> that sucks. It's also not the parking stub. It's not that... Is it's it the cell phone? It's not that either. Nope, it's not that either. I'm pretty sure it's that. Okay, so... Mike clearly knows... Edgeworth knows what it is, and it's gotta be something dumb if he would remember it. Okay. <laughs> so... The Luminol. No. Um... Oh. The murder well... took place at the weed time, Your Honor. <laughs> no, there's no way. It... Oh. I believe it. He stole the ID. Well, no, because he, he would have had it. to... He would have needed his ID to get in, though. Seven, 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 seven. I mean, unless... Seven, seven, unless unless someone let, lives unless in Unless someone let him in. Whose ID is seven, 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 uh, seven, seven? We don't know yet. Possibly the killer's. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to use... I don't want that to be correct. It I is the correct. answer! I, want you to present it too. I don't want it to be, though. <laughs> that sucks, right? It's the answer! There's no way that's somebody's real ID. Do your job! My job? That, that was, this is clearly forged, Your Honor. <laughs> I would like this evidence dismissed. <laughs> I want you to show it. Is it just me? Can, can someone All right, drink fine. Up fine. Fine, I'll present it. The crime took place inside the evidence room, then the killer would have had to would enter it. In order to do so, an ID card would have been required. And an ID card... God, oh, I hope it's oh, guilt. The ID card record. Officer Meekins brought the blue badger panel into the evidence oh, room wow. at... Um, 450. That Wait, hold on, hold on. This implies that Edgeworth himself is blind. Because yes, Edgeworth <laughs> didn't see the bloodstain... <laughs> OR THE POOL OF BLOOD! That is correct, yes. If the crime took place before that time, then it would be... 440 PM! Ah! I, um... Mr. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth, what have you done? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> shut the fuck up, you don't- shut up, stop, no. Drop the act, witness! It doesn't take a lot of thought to figure out it couldn't have been me. Uh, no, I am getting it. I'm afraid I don't understand. Actually, you. actually, Edgeworth, the time kind of lies up perfectly. If it's oh half an hour God. to get to the prosecutor's office, <laughs> and you committed the murder at 5:40, or no, sorry, 4:40, <laughs> then with two minutes to leave the building, uh, Edgeworth, I mean, right? You're ignoring the time, the other thing on the ID card. I don't thing. think it matters, honestly. I think you're delusional, right? Mm, it's clear in the luminal test before. that blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, both Officer Meekins and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. Oh, that's because of the blue badge. Okay, the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. I would have had just ten minutes to murder the victim, carry his body away, and clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's just physically impossible. 
And you know what else is impossible, Edgeworth? What? Removing a fucking trench coat, shirt, tie, trousers, belt, dress shoes, dress socks, and a hat, and stuffing it all into a fingerprint locked locker he in only, five seconds. He only had to <laughs> remove the coat. Yeah? Was That's, yeah okay, okay yeah, you've got a point, actually. You've got to be a. That would mean. The crime must have taken place before Mr. Edgeworth entered the evidence room. Let's look at the chart again. <sighs> yes, let's. There's only one other card number remaining. Six tuple seven. It's uh, sept tuple seven. <sighs> I always forget which Talk one is about which. A lucky number. Six is six. Uh, well, no yeah, that's seven. what it sounds like, but like, there's also no O in eight, but like. Ah, fuck, I forgot. God, has he been choking it. this whole time? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Uh, I, I, think I, I don't think I'm getting better now. That doesn't make sense. How could Detective Goodman have entered the evidence room? Since there's no record of his card being used beforehand, he must have entered along with a real murder. Er, that's the only plausible explanation. He went in with, you know, step double seven. As he will come become to known as in Mr. The news Redworth, please look into this ASAP in the in the film. Find out whose ID is seven 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 seven. That's one seven too many, Your Honor. Nope, I counted. There was exactly seven sevens. It, it was. Unfortunately, I'm unable to look up the owner of that ID card. At least at present. What? It. I. I did. Did he, did he finally oh. pass out from choking? Oh, okay. No, I'm good now. Explain yourself, son. The ID number 77777777 belongs to someone with the rank <sighs> of captain or higher. Someone who's a so-called executive officer. Oh, maybe a sergeant, perhaps? Mm, I just I just want it. I want it so badly to be Damon Gant. Damon can't be the killer. Why not? We don't have the authority to inquire into such a person's identity. But that's ridiculous! Just how- I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. God, so rude. There is one situation in which we can be granted such authority. And an official charge filed against an executive is accepted. An official charge? Uh, you're all alike, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries and your lizard people, that's how the prosecutor's office operates. The hell are you talking about? What was the first two things? I understand I the third one. I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I would appreciate it if you would keep your slander to yourself. <laughs> slander, is it? More like salamander. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> that was so bad. Let me ask. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, not to you. To her. The defendant sitting over there. Over yonder. Your own little executive. L L Lana? Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course we looked up her ID number, and it's not 77777777. What is it? 6666666? No, it's 4444444. Four, 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 four. It's 2! Oh. Don't play me for a fool, Capato Rosso. That's not what I asked. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. The SL9 incident? And to me, this prosecutor, in that trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Damn, or I was really hoping it would just cut to. I was really hoping it would just cut to her and she'd just say, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." Do you need the witness to repeat his question, Chief Prosecutor? Did we really need to get her on the stand for this? I heard him fine, Miss Stredgeworth. I'll just sit here on the floor. Two for a years ago, I was in charge of the prosecution for that trial. At the time, we. Occasionally, we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least, I did. Um, what? Well, Lana. All, 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 all of my characters are on screen right now. This is kind of hard. 
I became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. I don't know Defendant. if suppressed is the word. What do you say? I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. During that trial two years ago, counting two, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look at me, an investigator in that crime, in the eyes and say that you did? Chief Prosecutor, you didn't. I don't have to, Officer Marshall. Why won't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. Oh. Okay, you have lost all respect. We did what we had to in order him for him to get the verdict he deserved. All respect lost. But Lana! Even if it involved forging evidence. I like how Edgeworth got, Edgeworth, Edgeworth got like one blink in. See, that's what I'm talking about. No. No! The chaos in the courtroom cannot be quelled. The conclusion of the trial. No! We have to wait until the <laughs> following day. W that we warned you about trial the step ladder. continued. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. This is specifically against the rules! <laughs> it not. I was told three days for it's, trial! It's only been two days. Why does it say day three? <laughs> We've only had two trial phases, Jeremy. I'm all to four. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I assume we're ending tonight here. Yes. <laughs> all right. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to power through the investigation and the trial. Wait, did I say tomorrow? That's not gonna happen. Uh, next time. I I know it might. It's probably not gonna happen. But like, I can hope, right? I can dream. Yeah, we, we can dream. So it can be false, false dreams, but you know. See you guys. Uh, let me, let me, let me show where the stream ending real quick. So I'll see you guys all. Uh, whenever we do this again, we might not be able to do it next Monday. Uh, uh, quick, quick, quick word of advice: Phoenix Wright Mondays. Next, next Monday. But we are we are going to be seeing if we can do it sometime else during that week, so that way we can finish Phoenix Wright one. And take a probably a break week or two before we start Phoenix Wright Two. Yeah. Uh, in other news, <sighs> my friend is dropping off a copy of Bloodborne later tonight, so maybe I'll stream that sometime this week. You know, mm -hmm. if, if 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 I decide I don't feel like studying for my finals. Yeah. And I calculated all our character points for the first game. What do you mean character points? Yeah. What are character points? What, are, what are, is it? How good we played our characters? Well, no, it's 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 which characters you play, and you get a point for each time they appear in a trial. Well, if they appear in the first, it, it, it's how many time, how many trials they appear in. I, I don't. In that what? game, I lose. You do. Because yeah, doesn't he win because he's in every trial? Yeah, but you well, got yeah, but that's only characters. five points because there's only five. There's the first turnabout, turnabout sisters, turnabout samurai, turnabout the count Polly? Right from matches. That's I five. think I yeah, think I counted Polly. You got a total of six points because so, of that. So right. who so who won? Uh well, it's a tie between me and Andrew. We both have fifteen, although I'd say Andrew won because he has the judge who's in every case, while my heist is four. What? That's for any single case. How how close was I? Uh you got twelve. Yeah, okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Alright. Bye!